B&M is a company that makes good roller coasters. Let me rephrase that. B&M is a company that makes amazing coasters. B&M's coasters are some of the funnest coasters around, and not to mention they're some of the most reliable coasters in the entire industry. In the early days of B&M, these coasters were so far ahead of their time that other manufacturers just couldn't keep up. Their tried and true reliable design was much more appealing to potential buyers than many other coaster manufacturers at the time. B&M was dominating the industry, producing many different types of amazing coasters. That was over a decade ago, and not surprisingly, the majority of that statement is still true today. B&M is still an amazing company that produces awesome rides, but nowadays they're not the only coaster manufacturer on the block. There are many other companies that produce awesome rides just like B&M, including RMC, Intamin, Mac, Vacoma, SNS, Gerslar, and so many more. There are a lot of companies nowadays. This gives potential buyers a much larger selection of ride manufacturers to choose from when buying a coaster. And it's interesting that all these other manufacturers seem to innovate much more than B&M does, leaving B&M with the same designs they had to start out with. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. In this video, I'm going to be discussing everything that revolves around B&M, including their innovation, competition, and the leaked B&M surf coaster. So stay tuned as we answer the question of what's happening to B&M. Let me start off by saying that B&M is a thriving company and by no means failing or anything like that. In 2020 alone, they're adding three coasters in the US, Emperor, a B&M dive coaster, Candemonium, a hyper coaster, and Orion, a giga coaster. So you can definitely tell that they're not slowing down anytime soon. But with that being said, you can't ignore the key differences between them and other companies. You know how everyone says B&M doesn't innovate? I decided to look into that, and here's what I found. Every company innovates at some level. Let me explain. Manufacturers like SNS, Vacoma, Mac, and Intamin seem to come out with new coaster concepts fairly often, such as the new Axis coaster and Intamin's high speed switch track design. These manufacturers seem to innovate a lot. Then there are manufacturers like Gerslauer and RMC. These manufacturers still innovate, but mainly focus on perfecting existing designs. For instance, RMC hasn't really came, come out with new coaster types besides the single rail and the hybrid. Instead, they're focusing on perfecting these designs by making them bigger and better and more reliable. And the same can be said with Gerslar. They're still mainly known for only their Infinity Coaster and their Eurofighter, but they've been adding so many different features to these coasters like launches, backward sections, and switch tracks to make them better. And then you have B&M in a category all by itself. In terms of new coaster types, B&M hardly innovates at all. One of the reasons that I think that is, is because they already have a, such a large portfolio of coasters. They make inverts, dive coasters, hyper coasters, giga coasters, floorless coasters, wing coasters, flying coasters, and a few others. Their lineup of coasters is already really good. They were way ahead of their time for such a long time and didn't really need to innovate at all. But now is a completely different time where B&M might want to start coming out with new coaster types. I mean, the last major coaster type that they came out with was a family inverted coaster. And that was all the way back in 2014. Other than that, the only other major innovation that B&M came out with was the B&M vest restraint and the new braking system. And you have to remember that B&M doesn't have a full-fledged launch coaster. This is a big deal. All the other manufacturers that I mentioned earlier besides RMC have some type of launch coaster. And RMC is a relatively new company, so it doesn't really matter that much. Not having a launch coaster isn't the end of the world, but it's an increasingly competitive coaster market right now, and it could possibly make a difference in the future. And on top of that, to my knowledge, B&M is one of the only companies to not have an inverting coaster with just a lap bar. So this brings me to the rumored surf coaster concept. Could this finally be the long awaited new coaster type? My answer to that is yes. Not much is known about this concept except that it exists and a trademark was filed for it. That's about it. So what exactly do I think the surf coaster is? Well so far there are three main theories as to what it could be. The first theory is that it could possibly be a water coaster of some type. The second theory is that it could be B&M's take on a 4D coaster. And the final theory is that it could be a new type of stand-up coaster that would incorporate a launch. So here's what I think about those theories. First off, I 100% don't think it's going to be a water coaster. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Water coasters are hard coasters to, shell, to sell. Parks need to be in a certain geographical location to benefit from a water coaster. And on top of that, water coasters aren't that popular. And B&M has never done any major type of attraction with water except for the water breaks on some coasters. Now I think the 4D coaster theory could actually work, but I'm still a little skeptical about it, especially because it's such a major jump from hardly any innovation to this major attraction. But don't get me wrong, it's definitely possible. 
Now, I have a lot to say on the stand-up coaster design, because I don't know how realistic it would be. Basically, the people that think this is what the surf coaster is, think that you would be standing up in a surfing-like position while going throughout the layout. And on the surface, this theory makes sense, especially because of the word surf. But I don't know how practical a ride like this would be. Stand-up coasters aren't exactly the most popular and aren't the greatest rides. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably just saying that this concept has to be perfected and maybe the surf coaster will do just that. I don't necessarily know if I agree or disagree with that. There is no doubt in my mind that the stand-up coaster can get better. But the thing that makes me skeptical is the fact that B&M would be doing it. I don't think a play it safe reliable company like B&M would be the first to make a next generation stand-up coaster. I think there's just too much risk involved. And I don't think that this model would sell that well compared to other coasters that they already have. So what exactly do I think this mystery coaster is? My personal opinion is that I think it's going to be a type of launch coaster. And I know the majority of people watching this video will probably disagree with me, but I just can't see B&M making anything else. The only major gap in, in B&M's lineup of coasters is a full-fledged launch coaster. After they have this, the only thing they will be missing will be a spinning coaster and a 4D coaster. In my opinion, the launch coaster makes the most sense. Here are some things that I would expect to see in a B&M launch coaster. I would expect to it to incorporate smaller trains, such as two riders per row. I would also expect it to have lap bars instead of the over-the-shoulder over restraints or vest restraints. And the only other major thing that I would expect to see with this ride is for it to have a whippy layout similar to the next generation Vacomas and the Intamin Blitz coasters. In fact, that's exactly what I think B&M is trying to do. I think Rocky Mountain Construction, Vacoma, and Intamin kind of changed the industry a little bit. They're proving that people love fast-paced, super intense, whippy rides, and I think B&M is going to try to follow. Now, I obviously don't think this ride will be as intense of, of, as any of those, but I think that's what they're trying to do. They see that a launch coaster is a popular coaster that could bring in potential sales. Now, this is just my theory, but that's my only guess as to what it could be. It's either that or it's the 40 coaster, but I lean towards the launch coaster. So the future of B&M will definitely include this coaster, but when exactly will it get built? Nobody knows now, but I'd say 2021 or 2022 might be the year when we see one of these mystery coasters actually get built. And if 2021 is the year, I would expect to see the full announcement of what exactly this coaster is to be at the 2020 IAPA this November. So in this video, we looked at B&M's competition, innovation, and rumored designs for the future. So after that analysis, it's time for me to give you my official verdict on what I think is going to happen with B&M in the future. I think the future of B&M is going to be just as good as it is now. They won't ever stop building glossy smooth coasters and I don't think they will ever stop being the play it safe reliable company. But with that being said, I do think that in the future they will start innovating more than they do now. They will work on taking more risks with their future projects. Future coasters will be faster, steeper, smoother, and most definitely, taller. A now far-fetched concept like a B&M Strata won't feel that far off anymore after we see what innovation this surf coaster brings. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see content just like this every week. And comment below what you think about the B&M Surf Coaster. What do you think it actually is? This is The Coaster Josh, signing out.